My name is Joy Davis. I work here at Tybee Island Marine Science Center and I am a marine educator. And we're going to go over a couple animals that you would find if you went on a beach walk here on Tybee Island. We can start off with one of the most common things that you'll find and that is going to be something like this moon snail shell. So these animals, also called shark's eye, are here on our island a lot and um, this guy obviously is not alive anymore but he has been occupied by a hermit crab. And these hermit crabs don't make these shells. They actually are small larvae. They start off microscopic and then they grow to become hermit crabs. That's the last stage in their life cycle. And once they do that, they're gonna have a really soft tail. They're actually closer related to lobsters and crabs. And so they're gonna need that extra protection. So they're gonna find empty shells, dead snails that have made that beautiful shell. And they're gonna crawl into it and utilize that as their home. These lettered olive snails are everywhere. So if you go to the edge of a tidal pool, you're gonna see these gorgeous shells have this extra shiny surface on them. Now, they're a little bit harder to tell if they're alive or not alive because it has such a small opening um, and we find so many of them, but we are going to definitely see that there is um, a soft body in there if you do see it. So there's going to be a soft animal um, hiding in there and you'll be able to see a little bit of that if you look right into that cavity. The season coming about for us is going to be the horseshoe crab mating and nesting season. And these beautiful horseshoe crabs start off very small. They also start off as a zooplankton. We're gonna see that in a lot of our um, marine invertebrates a lot of our invertebrates in general actually, but they're gonna shed about 30 times in their lifetime. So a lot of people pick up a big horseshoe crab on the beach and they um, think that it's dead, but really it's just a molt. It's bigger, um, it's larger somewhere else. Now, these guys are pretty impressive because they have been in our, um, they've been in our fossil records for a very, very long time. They predate the dinosaurs They've been able to live for so long because they have this amazing body plan. They have copper-based blood that is, um, that is antibacterial, so it's helped them through for that long. This guy is pretty cool. We are able to have him in our touch tank because he has these teeny tiny little claws. Now, this is called a spider crab. And for being so big and round and spidery looking, he is actually pretty harmless. He actually utilizes other um, defenses because hit those um, front claws, those kilopeds, are not going to be too um, good for him to protect himself. So we'll find a lot of these in cannonball jellies and they'll use that jellyfish, even though it has a really mild sting to us. Um, it helps protect him in the water column and so he's going to be able to hang out inside that jellyfish, get the extra food and help the jellyfish out by cleaning it out sometimes.